Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbalistic. This is episode 2 of the series and we start off with a attempt into orbit. This is Jebediah's second launch on this craft, the Firefly Orbital. And it's not going to be his last, or I hope so, because this happens. We dip too much into the aerodynamic airstream and just the whole thing goes apart again. Yeah, this launcher is not the most... Uh, stable of craft or reliable of craft getting up into space but it's what we got right now and it works so you know we'll take it we're also picking up an interesting contract here um what it basically means is you got to take an eva report while you're splashed down but not counting a splash down you have to be landed on water so it's a really interesting report that we just took up there hopefully we can complete it uh, but that's something for later. This is Jebediah Kerman's third launch of the series on that same ill-fated rocket. But uh, fortunately it goes a lot better this time. And the goal of this mission is actually to cross the inner Van Allen belt of Kerbin. So, pretty dangerous mission for Jebediah here. So we're just going to try and skim along the inner side of the belt. And um, expose Jeb to the least amount of radiation as possible. I actually cooked the burn a little too much here. And I drift too high into the belt so that's not good. I decided to use the RCS thrusters to try and bring my apoapsis down a little bit and that seems to do the trick. So Jeb gets a free CAT scan and we get the contract complete. So we're coming back down to the uh, atmosphere and we're going to slow down and complete the mission. So here we are just slowing ourselves down and we're going to be rapid firing through a lot of these launches this episode because this is over four hours of gameplay that I'm going to have to I'm going to have to edit down to just 12 minutes of gameplay really. So rapid fire between the launches. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be doing this style of video for future episodes. I'll probably just do um, a few missions and then just have these short little episodes so I can put them out more frequently. Anyways, Val is going back inside the Firefly Orbital. Uh, we're going to go back into orbit and try and just pick up any science we missed. Just go back into the radiation belt one more time, get any science from there that we can with the uh, Geiger counter or any other instruments, and uh, yeah, just call it a day. So go up into the belt, a little more careful this time, not to overdo the burn, and we get in just fine. Our engine actually fails coming back down, but luckily we have that RCS thruster, so we do our standard rolling maneuver, so each time the, the spacecraft rolls, we fire the thruster in the opposite direction, and we slow down our orbital speed. So. Nice little safety net, I guess, having those backup thrusters for orientation, too. Um, yeah, pretty handy to have, but Val makes it back safe and sound. And Val's going to hop right back into another rocket, actually. We're going to attempt a polar flight. Yeah, we're going to go over the poles and um, try and get any biome-related science that we can going over uh, Kerbin in low space, so pretty cool there. Unfortunately, we don't quite make it. I try using the RCS to push ourselves up, and we fall just under 100 meters per second short, so bummer on this flight. Just about missed it. Might be able to pull it off if we have a really efficient trajectory, but didn't happen this time. We fly over the, pool, uh, the poles of Kerbin and get a pretty cool camera change, and make it down safely, get some science on the ground, so all in all, safe flight, got some science. Um, also testing out the heat shield here as, a, as part of a contract, getting all the money we can. And you can see we're actually really low on money. So this node that I just unlocked, basic science, we can only get a few really essential parts. So that kind of sucks. Um, wish I can get everything, but we can't because we are low on money. Accepting some more contracts there and immediately sending Val back into space on one of these uh, boosters. This is going to be a very common uh, theme of this video. That's going to be our workhorse for this episode and probably next episode for sure until we can get the parts to replace it. Again, it's not the most reliable of uh, vehicles, but uh, we make it back okay. Now, what that mission and what this mission is, is an attempt at a long duration stay in space. We have a contract to stay 30 days in space and the fuel cell that I included on this flight was a monopropellant fuel cell, but I guess it doesn't produce enough electric charge for Valentina to stay in space long enough so that's a bit unfortunate so we're gonna have to come down because the electric charge is just not enough to keep her life support um, in order so we're gonna bring her down before the CO2 levels get too toxic and the scrubber can't work and all of that 
We make it down 9 meter per second landing, so the batteries do break off actually, but uh, fortunately, Valentina is safe. Now, the biggest project of this episode is this cool plane that I'm christening the name of Science Swan. Yes, it's going to be flying around like a swan doing science, so we have given it the name Science Swan. It's a very dangerous plane to fly, especially since all the parts are untested. Um, we're going to go complete that contract I talked about earlier with the um, EVA report landed on the water. So to do that, we need to fly to the poles. That's where it recommends us um, to fly to. And you can see we're having a lot of trouble controlling this, and that's because all the control surfaces are slowly but surely failing on the craft. So we're slowly making our way there. We even have a parachute fail on us, so we cut that off. We still have an extra one. We can land on one parachute, but... If that decides to deploy, we're going to have no choice but to land with it. Because I do not trust my flying skills landing this plane with keyboard and mouse. Um, but we do actually make it to the site. Jebediah Kerman does a nice parachute landing, and we do get the EVA report. Or at least we got it with Kerbalism, because Kerbalism science kind of conflicts with the regular science. So you can see here that we're actually getting the EVA report landed but um, it didn't actually reward us the contract. So I have to use the debug menu here to actually uh, complete the contract because Kerbalism has having a little bit of a conflict with the game, but that's okay. We can just do this and call it a day. Use the debug menu for debugging. Anyways, we're gonna do that and hop right back into the science swan to get some more science because we want to get a probe so we can send that off to the moon and get some more science and more contracts because our space program is in a rock and a hard place right now in terms of funds. We're not getting too much money right now. If we lose this plane, it's really going to be a bummer because this was very expensive to make and if we can't recover it, we're not really going to be able to build another one right now. So luckily we have those parachutes to land. Um, makes landing a whole lot easier. And we actually land pretty steep on the mountain that's okay because we have these brakes and if we face upwards we can actually just kind of counteract gravity really and just stay on the mountain and do all the science we need so that's what we do just kind of point upwards um, get the jet engines running uh, that actually provides alternator power for the experiments as well so just running the experiments and uh, calling it a day really for the science one had I think the landing gear broke off but Actually, that kind of helps because it kind of breaks us anyways, just having the fuselage rub against the ground. So um, all is fine with that. And we do some more flights after we recover it. So we're just flying around the KSC, getting some mystery goo and science junior experiments done while flying over Kerbin Shore. So pretty good science stuff there. Getting as much as we can, trying to get those pro parts and uh, propelling our space program forward. Um, yeah, pretty good landing there, and we're gonna take Jeb out, or actually, no, this is Valentina Kerman out for another flight, but a disaster strikes. The tail boom strikes the runway, and we lose the engines. Fortunately, the most of the craft isn't lost here. Valentina actually survives, so pretty successful failure, I guess. <laughs> Bit of an oxymoron there, but she is okay, so that's all what matters. Now it is time for Jebediah Kerman to try for the long duration stay in space. We had to attach a new fuel cell to the side and liquid oxygen and hydrogen or something like that to try and sustain the reaction. So it actually does work in terms of electric charge, but Jebediah Kerman does not have a lot of living space in this unpressurized space can. So he is getting pretty stressed out and the game tells me he starts hearing voices. So I think it's time to head back before he bashes his head against the control panel, rendering it useless and uh, stranding himself into space. So we don't want Jebediah Kerman stranded. We are gonna bring him back before anything bad happens and bring him back we do rather successfully. Um, we actually do get enough science to unlock that pro part that I was talking about earlier. And we purchase that and send that off into space. The goal is to get to the MUN and do a orbital insertion. We have enough fuel to do that. So that is the plan for this launch. But again, this booster is just cursed with breaking apart during max Q. So we do indeed lose the vessel again, unfortunately. I put on some fins this time and take off some parts. 
um, on the probe itself so we can put those fins on because we're at the max part count that the VAB allows which is 30 um, but fortunately it's just enough to get a basic functioning uh, probe out into space um, so yeah all goes well but the final orbital insertion isn't ideal I think it's enough for us to like not matter about it too much because it just skims the atmosphere but unfortunately the drag on this thing is so high that it actually takes it all the way back into the atmosphere and we can't really do anything about it because we don't have any connection so it just falls back to Kerbin and it meets its fate. So this is attempt number three on the Moon Explorer here. I believe that's what I called it. Uh, you can see the name in the upper right hand corner. I can't though because I'm just looking at a preview of the pre-rendered footage right now. So it's a big clunky digital mess right now until I render it, of course. Uh, but we do have a, su a successful launch and we do in fact get ourselves a Moon encounter. But rather stupidly, I forget to activate the fuel cells so this thing kind of runs out of electric charge and we are dead on arrival unfortunately we do get some world first though of flying by the moon we do get a very close flyby and we are stuck in this eccentric orbit so yeah that's about it for the episode a very big success today we got all our basic orbital missions done with our kerbal knots basically our mercury project if you will inside the save we've gotten all those missions done we'll try and get the 30 day long duration mission done in the next episode we have functioning uh, plane right now so we can do a bunch of science with that we'll have to also obviously reiterate the design because it is a bit lackluster right now but a lot to look forward to anyways i will see you in the next episode thank you for watching